hi guys welcome again to this channel my name is lenny and if you are new here please subscribe turn on that notification bell and that tells you every time that i upload a new video and to the returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming here to show your support you know i appreciate you guys all the time and to those guys that actually comment on my videos i appreciate you extra <laughs> so guys um this is going to be a vlog but i just decided to do like this intro i know i have another intro somewhere in the video but i just wanted to do this like intro and then do some explanations because there's also going to be a giveaway at the end of this video so I wanted to talk about that too before you guys not start to watch the vlog. Try and stay on and watch till the end just so that you can enter the giveaway. This is my house hunting journey in the UK. And for those of you that have already followed me from like a few months before now, you know that I left Nigeria and moved to the UK four months ago. In fact, it's going to be exactly four months by tomorrow. And I'm a, I'm a family of four, right? But I came in by myself when, um, when I came in. And because of that, I didn't feel the need to, you know, get a big apartment, and start living by myself and paying all the bills that i didn't need to pay right so i decided that i was going to move into like a studio accommodation um and then when my family is going to come in then we'll go and find something bigger so which is what we eventually did so um by first or second week of january i already knew when my family was going to come in and that was when the house hunting began <laughs> so um today is 5th of february i started my house hunting journey by the second week of January. And usually what you do is, you know, you go online, Some there are some applications where you can actually look for houses within your location or wherever it is that you want to move to and stuff like that. So, which is what I did. But I discovered that here, the process is not as, as easy as you think it should be. And before I really go into the video, I think I also need to address something. So for people that, all, that always go online and talk about the guys that sleep in libraries, the guys that sleep under the bridges, the guys that are spotting, and they talk and talk and say, oh, it's because they were not prepared. Didn't you know where you were going to? guys see, even if you have your money here it's still very difficult to get a place i know people that have been here since september and maybe it's just around this time that they're just getting an apartment they've been staying in hotels airbnbs you know it gets to a point where you you've spent so much money and then you have to do what you have to do right it's not so easy and i knew this firsthand when i started to look for apartments so it's not just about you having money there are so many criteria some landlords don't want to give their houses to students or at least one person is a student because they feel like you may not be able to afford it, especially new immigrants. So they feel, oh, before they settle down, before they get jobs and stuff like that, they might not be able to afford to pay. They don't even, in fact, some of them, to prove that you can pay, they might actually need you to pay for the full year or for six months minimum, you know? So it's just crazy. When I was really going to start, thank God I already had like a few tips from people that had gone through this journey. So I already knew to an extent some of the requirements and I was kind of prepared for it. So. First of all, I was not telling anybody I was a student. I worked part-time and I knew I was going to be able to prove that I worked part-time. So I knew that I got that cover too. If they ask me, oh, are you in full-time employment or part-time employment? Of course, I'm in part-time employment. But then the other issue I now had was, I'm, going, I'm not going to be living there by myself. My husband is going to be living there. So he is supposed to be in full-time employment, but he's not on ground. So that was like another challenge. So all of these were already some of the issues that I had to face. Then another thing is some don't want to give their houses to to a couple with kids so like if you have kids if their house is not made to have to house children like i don't know how you make a house that is not a student accommodation that is a proper house but you still say you don't want children but i think what i found out about that is for those accommodations that are very close to schools they would rather like let rooms to share to students than like take a couple and then make less money you know so all of those things were just involved but right i had my own requirements I had my minimum budget, I had my maximum budget and stuff like that. So um, I, I knew what I at least I was looking for. And another thing here is you can either get an accommodation that is furnished or unfurnished. And then there's the in-between partly furnished. So you have some items and then you don't have some items, right? So I knew I didn't want a fully furnished accommodation because some of the ones I had seen, those furnitures are either very ugly or very old, moldy, especially chairs, ugly, you know, things like that. And then you are not able to change. You actually have to use it like that. And they won't change it. So it's either you don't take it or you just have to manage it like that. I didn't want that kind of situation. I wanted an apartment where I could still bring in my own furniture, but some basic things have already been provided. And most of the things I was looking at were the kitchen appliances, like your washing machine, your microwave, your fridge freezer, your um, cooker. Most of the houses actually come with cooker, even if they don't come with all those, those other items that I mentioned, right? So I wanted something that was partly furnished or unfurnished. So if you're unfurnished, then that means you can't be within my maximum budget range, right? So all of those things, I, I, I had this as my criteria and stuff. And I also wanted something that was still within close proximity to my school. 
and then to the city center because my school is not far from the city center and I, I always have to go to the city center for a number of reasons. And then I also wanted something that, you know, um, was in a serene environment where like I have kids, I want my kids to be able to come out of the house and play like when it's summertime, of course, but like, and the environment is safe it's not on the highway, it's not very close to the major roads and stuff like that. So all of those things I really wanted. So anyway, so the journey started. The first week I couldn't really view a lot of houses because most of these houses, when you even request for a viewing, some you have to fill a form and then you might not get a date until the next week and stuff like that. So the first first week when I started the search, I was only able to view like a few houses. And I was just going and I was looking at some of these houses and I'm asking myself, I thought it was only Lagos landlords that were crazy. Like, I don't understand. Even UK landlords too. Hey guys, some houses that I saw shook me. Like really, really shook me. Literally. Either the rooms were too small, like every other thing might be okay, but then you enter the room and then you see like like try already imagine putting a bed and then you are not even seeing any space to even put a closet. Like you don't have closet, then the space is too small. And you claim this is a family house, two bedrooms. Like, who are you expecting to live there? And then okay, I'm saying that yes, I have kids. Like, so I have you not looked at the fact that this is going to be master bedroom. This is going to be kids' room. Like, where is, where is the space? Like, it just didn't make sense, guys. Anyway, and then another house I saw. Three bedrooms was still within my budget because I was looking at two or three bedrooms, actually. Three bedrooms within my budget. All the rooms were upstairs. Nice space downstairs. Um, living room, another reception area, then the kitchen. And after the kitchen is where you see the toilets that serves the three rooms. And like, imagine you wake up in the middle of the night, you have to use the restroom. You come all the way downstairs, enter the dining area because the stair staircase leads to the dining area. Then from the dining area, you go to the kitchen. Then from the kitchen, you go to the toilet. How? Like, who does that? <laughs> Guys, it didn't make sense to me. Most of the two rooms here were also to share one toilet and bathroom. And even some of the three bedrooms would also have to share one toilet and bathroom. Like, So the only other thing you could see is they cannot put toilets separately and then the bathroom sep separately. But... Most times they come in together, especially for the two bedrooms. So I didn't really have so much of a choice as regards that. Um, but eventually, uh, by the next week, where I now had like most of my bookings, like I viewed 11 houses in total, even though I booked about 14. Three others I could not see for one reason or the other. Either they didn't want children, or I got there five minutes late and then the person couldn't wait, or the person didn't show up at all and said she, com she got confused about the time and stuff like that. So, but Guys, by the second week, when I now had like all the major bookings that I had to view, um, Monday morning, I just told God. And that was that by that time school had resumed. So I just told God, please, there's no way I will go and look at eight houses and I will not see my house there. I don't want to have to do this all over again because once I had booked for that week, if I was going to book again, it's going to be for the upper week, which is the week that my family will come in. I don't want that stress of having to still go and be looking at houses. It was costing me money, it was costing me time, it was making me stressed. So I had to tell God that morning that as I go out this week, please let me find favor. Because the other problem is even that you see a house, you like it, but there are like 10, 15, 20 of you already on the same house. All of you have to make an application. This application will have to go to the landlord. Then who looks through and decides who he wants to give his house to. So it's not even like, oh, I see the house, I like it, I pay. It's not like that. That's how you do it back in Nigeria. If you meet all the other criteria, as long as you have your money, some people don't even care. And you know, in Nigeria, you pay upfront. So here, because you have to pay monthly, I think it's one of the reasons why it's a bit... I told God, like, once I apply for it, please let it be my house. Don't let them give it to somebody else. Or don't let them have to now start thinking of who to give it to between me and another person. I had to make that prayer on Monday morning. And I went out that week knowing that I was going to get my house. Funny thing is, I saw my house on that Monday. And I applied for it. But I said I had to keep going to view because I had not made payment. I need to go ahead and make payment. I did the application. They were doing their verifications and stuff like that. Requesting for this, requesting for that. But... I kept on going to view on Tuesday. I had like three viewings. On Wednesday, I had one. On Thursday, I had one. On that Monday, I had three. So, guys, it was after I had viewed the last house on Thursday that I got the call from the agent to go ahead and make payments. And I did. And, guys, it was the house I really wanted. Even though I, I took forms for the other ones that, in case I didn't get that one, maybe I can manage this or maybe I can manage that one and stuff. But I just knew that that house was going to be my house. Funny thing is, I saw another house. The last house I viewed was in the same neighborhood was more expensive, was unfurnished. And I'm like, how? This house was the cheapest house I saw. It was partly furnished, just the way I wanted it to be, you know? And I don't know, I'm giving you guys tips so for the giveaway. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm glad. We are picking up the keys on Friday. Um, so I'm moving in exactly 
four months that I moved into my studio apartment. <laughs> Guys, it's such a coincidence. My family is also coming in exactly four months that I moved into the UK. The same date. Like, what a coincidence. Anyway, I'm so excited. I really can't wait to make that house my own. I've been buying a few items, you know, urgent items. But as I live there, I'm going to be making updates and stuff like that. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to having my family here with me in the UK and start to live my life proper. <laughs> All this way, I used to tell myself, I didn't come here to be by myself. I wanted my family to experience the same thing I'm experiencing. So I was really looking forward to that. And now that they are coming, I'm so excited and I can't be happier. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into the vlog. And then don't forget, at the end of this vlog, I'm going to talk about the giveaway. Guys, today, I start my house on journey in the UK. <laughs> yeah, some of you that already know me. I actually live in a student accommodation at the moment, right? And now that my family is coming, I'll have to move. So I started to search for a house that would take myself and my family. And I'm going for my first viewing today. And I decided I was just going to vlog. Guys, I've not been vlogging, I've not been making videos just because I've just been very overwhelmed with stuff like school and work and it's just been crazy. Uh, I didn't even have like a chilling Christmas or a chilling New Year. Um, it was all school, school and work and stuff. So anyway, I'm not complaining, but I just had to take the break off YouTube. But um, I, I was to start coming back gradually. So maybe this would be my first attempt at coming back to YouTube. And this is my house hunting vlog in the UK. So I'll carry you guys along. I hope you like the video and it's cold. <laughs> hands are freezing, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. When trances going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty Like, like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me midnight mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep
Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Now, um, for the giveaway, I'm going to list out the criteria, what you have to do and all of that. So the first thing is, you need to be subscribed to my channel. I'm going to ask for evidence. You need to like my video, this particular video. You don't have to like every other video, except you like it. You need to comment on which one of the houses you think I went for, from house one to house 11. So which one, house number what, you know? Uh, so the first three people to get this right are the people that are going to be getting the gift, right? So it's going to be an Amazon gift. I'm going to put the link in the description box below so that you can check it. If you are in Nigeria, I'm going to give you the Naira equivalent of whatever the gift is. Whether you're in the UK or in the US or anywhere Amazon easily delivers to your location at a very minimal fee, I'm just going to send the money for you to purchase the item in pounds. Whatever it is in pounds is what I'm going to send to you. Anyhow, so you can either order and then, you know, get it delivered to your doorsteps from your own Amazon account. Anyway, that's what the giveaway is about. So. If you made it to the end of this video, you can enter this giveaway. The first three people to get this right are going to get the gift. So anyway, good luck. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.